Assalamu alaikum friends, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm in Bangsar, Kuala Lumpur and I'm here to visit Lizette's Cafe. They claim they have the healthiest lunch buffet in Kuala Lumpur. So let's go and check it out. Well, everything looks really good and really healthy, you know, as they claim. So, yes, my plan is to try every single thing, at least even a little bit, and then I'll come back and I'll get the big portion of whatever I like. So, let's start. Great. This is the first lot. trying to get like at least two bites of everything it smells incredible and looks super yummy and super healthy so I managed to get five things and one thing which I really wanted to try then I saw it I was like okay that's what I'm getting first is Ratatouille so I'm sure most of you are familiar with the movie Ratatouille so this dish is like after that I have tried and it was like remarkable so I want to try it here here we go. Mm. Okay, I'm definitely getting more of this in my next round. And what flavors? Incredible. Wow. The freshness of the veggies and the, the flavor of the tomatoes goes really well together. So this is like a sashuka pots. Delicious. This thing was going very fast, but now I know it was really good. Now there is a queue all the way, and they're topping up the food quite fast. So that's really good. Mm. This couscous salad could be used as a base because it doesn't have any flavor, it's like very bland. Mm. Feta cheese salad. Oh, yeah, this is good. The veggies are very fresh, and the saltiness of the feta cheese and the olives are really good. Please come hungry because the variety of food is a lot 
and also it's like you do want to try everything and I don't know how many rounds I can go but at least I will try everything at least once. Mm. The chickpea and corn is nice but the feta salad is better. So yeah the whole plan is to do this with every single round. I don't want to waste anything so I'll go just get like smaller portions and after trying everything if I'm still hungry and I'll go for one big portion of that ratatouille. In this round, ratatouille is the winner. This time I'm thinking to go to the hummus station, get all the things from that station, and then I go. I already checked the desserts, they look remarkable, you know. And yes, so happy already, you know, because the food is very light, it's not very heavy, but still, please come hungry. hummus. I want to try the beetroot hummus. Okay, this is more crispy. I like the, the soft tortillas. This is more like a crispy one. Okay. Nice. Smooth. So if you guys like the flavor of the beetroot, you're gonna love this. Very good. Bill is better than the beetroot hummus. Broccoli tempura. Oh yeah. Oh. So I've had broccoli tempura phenomenal. Really loved it. So now this is like a fried breaded broccoli. Crunchy, crispy. But that white thing is not a cream cheese. It's yogurt. Well, in round two, the mutabal and that broccoli tempura is the winner. Mm. One thing for sure, you know, totally worth the price. Because if you visit this cafe, you're gonna spend more than 50 ringgit anyway. Because the, I can see the prices. This place prices, menu prices are a bit on the higher side. But with this buffet, you can try all this delicious food with one price. Round two, success. First time I'm seeing like the Asilema presentation with the black rice. After looking at other people's plate, I feel like I'm not <laughs> going for my full potential because people are really filling up each side because they don't want to come back again and again. I'm just still in my testing zone and I'm happy the first two rounds were successful. This time I'm going for the meat. We have this delicious looking beef. And also the first time I'm seeing this, you can say like a black nasi lama. It's like a, instead of nasi lama, which is like a coconut rice, they're using black rice. But everything else is like anchovies, peanuts, cucumber, egg. And the sample is exactly the same. It's just the rice, instead of the coconut rice, they have black rice. Fabulous. Man, I don't think I have tried this flavor rice ever before. Mm. Wow. I haven't tried the other thing in this round three, but this is the winner. Mm. The sambal was incredible. I'm gonna go and get more of that sambal in my thing. Now I'm trying this cauliflower pancake with the tomato sauce. Oh yeah. Mm. 
super good. Roasted potatoes. You can taste the rosemaries and the herbs. Yeah, great. We have this like roasted pumpkin salad. I don't know how to describe it anymore. So creamy, it's just like if you put it in your mouth, it's gonna melt like butter. Things are getting better and better, Alhamdulillah. Like, I was super happy with the, both of the first two rounds, but I think this round is a clear winner because everything is neck to neck. Now, let's try the beef. Oh, yeah. Oh. Remarkable. This is like a beef curry. The meat is super tender, really high quality, but there is a sweetness to it. It's you not know, like it's half spicy, half sweet. Almost all the people who came to cafe at this time, they came for the buffet. Nobody is ordering a la carte, and it's also once a week, so I think everybody know in advance that on Tuesday they're gonna get the buffet. So most of the reservations just only buffet. So instead of giving individual rating, today I'll give you the overall rating of this buffet. But definitely I'll tell you the must try things. So far, whatever I have tried is a must try. <laughs> I would say like please try it even a little bit. Round three, super success. Potato and eggplant. Looks spicy. Chicken. Main sauce. are really good however some of the food items are out of this world I'm so happy I found this place at the end I will tell my favorite I already have few like really favorite and I think definitely be back inshallah to try that again and again it is really healthy you don't feel heavy this is my fourth round of course I'm not trying a lot but still it's a decent portion fritata delicious so creamy this is good the frittata is way better because this is doesn't taste that good with the room temperature mm. wow this is the creamiest lasagna and it's veggie lasagna there's no meat into it so more and more people can try it yes wow it's the same level as frittata for me. Mango salad. Ooh. Sour. Good, but sour. Mm. Refreshing. Mm. Ooh. Yummy, delicious. Really good. If you like spicy stuff, potato must try. Now, tandoori chicken with the mint sauce, mint chutney. Yeah. So if you like trying many, many food items at the same time, this is a must-try buffet. I, would, I can definitely say like one of the best buffet of my life. Very healthy, very light. And I thought after trying everything a little bit, I may be full. Actually, I'm not. So I think I'm gonna go another round and I'm gonna get the best of the best things and try them one more time because I'm so pleasantly surprised with that black rice, nasi kitam, that beef. Now this chicken, really good, like proper tandoori chicken flavor and the mint sauce like really tastes like that mint sauce. So yes, I think next round I'm gonna go with the best of the best things. So yeah, if you come around 11.30, you have two and a half hours, so take your time. Round four, great success. So this is like a type of pudding, and this is like a syrup. Okay, it's 
So this would be the round five. I'm trying the dessert. This is bubur cha cha. There's some sort of fruits, noodles, tapioca. Mm. Wonderful. Now this is what you call a dessert. Mm. This is a must try dessert. Seriously? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I seriously thought no dessert can top this. <laughs> now we have a competition in the market. This is literally the creamiest pudding because I don't like bread pudding because for me it's a bit dry. Wow. Mm. And that custom topping, just like sherry on the top. literally like a sweet pancake and then there is a stuffing is the shredded coconut and gula malaka the palm sugar compared to the other ones this is a bit flat I don't want to waste it it's like more like a pumpkin pudding with a little bit of sweetness it wasn't the best for me this one and the pudding neck to neck. Okay, now I'll tell you my favorites, but I think I'm just gonna go and get, grab those favorites. So I'll keep eating and keep telling you why they are my favorites here. Okay, I think I got all my favorites. So black nasi lemma, beef masama, tandoori chicken with the mint sauce especially. It was good. Ratatouille, the cauliflower pancake, the pumpkin, Fritata, then feta salad, and lasagna. So these are definitely the must try and some of these things that blew my mind. So it's difficult to pick among these. So I would say, yeah, please go for at least for all of them. And then whatever else, except that couscous salad, that was kind of like okay, okay. Everything else was like really above average to good, to great, to excellent, remarkable out of this one. I'm so excited to try this black nasi lemma, especially with their sun. Now this is out of this world. Round six. I did it. Round seven. So if you're a big foodie like myself, this buffet totally worth it. And even if you're not a big foodie per se, you still can come and you can try a little bit of everything and it still be worth it. Because when I was trying everything a little bit, I was already super happy. Now I'm just topping up because these things <laughs> You don't want to try a little bit. You actually want to go for another portion. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Everything remarkable. Totally fabulous. Like life-changing stuff. Okay, so before I throw in the towel, the bread and butter pudding one more time. Mm. This dessert, outstanding. This and the bubur chacha, they both are great. But I didn't want to eat too much, so I just go in for this one. Just want to eat light today. Alhamdulillah. One thing I'm really happy that I did not waste any food. Because usually when you go to buffet, you try to load up too much and then at the end you don't finish. Which is happening here as well around me. But I was like so determined, I don't want to waste any food. And I'm so glad I did not. Every plate I finished, something like this. So yes, I'm really happy. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. I feel like kissing your hand. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good, man. Thank you very much. Who, whose recipes are these? Uh, mostly it's my and my stuff. Incredible. Thank you very much. That beef. Masamo, like the Thai is like traditional Thai. Yeah, because I'm from Thailand. Oh, you're from Thailand? Yeah. I just want to give you like my honest compliment. Loved it. I would, I would highly, highly recommend this place. What's your name, by the way? Uh, Golf. G-O-L-F. Golf? Yeah. 
like the sport. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you're playing it very well, so keep it up, man. Lovely meeting you. Thank okay. you so much, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Thank you. Enjoyed it so much. Thank you. I'm so full and I'm so happy. Oh man, this is one of the best movie of my life. Really enjoyed everything, you know, like this movie, 200% worth it. Everything is super fresh and they keep topping up. So yes, if you want to visit this place, here are a few tips. The best time to come is around 11.15. The buffet starts at 11.30, but all the food is already ready at 11.15. So you can even start, you know, they were very kind, they let you start. So that time, no people around. That's when I came and there was nobody. And exactly at 11.45, people start coming and at 12, there was a queue. Because I think this area is around offices, so there were so many people coming from the office. Exactly at 12, till 12.30, it was the busiest. And then exactly around 1 p.m., 1 p.m. after, it went quiet again. But all the food is exactly the same quantity because they keep topping up. So yes, either you can come at 11.15 a.m. or you can come at 1 p.m. Both time will be quiet. And yes, you don't have to try everything in the large quantity. You can try in the small quantities and you will love this, man. Like, I'm so happy. I don't know if I still need to say it, but yes, this buffet, I'll give 10 out of 10. 200% worth it. All the things remarkable, and some of the things out of this world, like really mind blowing things. Desserts, fantastic, like really outstanding. Staff, amazing. The vibe, fabulous. You know, it's just very nice temperature cafe. Even they have the door is open, but the temperature feels really good. At the back, they have this like uh, it feels like open air, but it's not open air. It's like covered. So yes, all in all and out of this world experience yes i would highly recommend this place and also i will put all the information about this place in the description as well so please feel free to check it out so yes please let me know in the comments below what do you think of this place and when are you visiting this place and as always thank you so much for watching thanks for all the love and support if you like this video please hit the subscribe button it will really means a lot and inshallah i'll see you guys very soon with another great video take care